you know, from Stella Luna, that'd be good. Uh, welcome back. Great to have you guys on Thank the show. You. As I mentioned earlier, it's not just gelato and, and sorbets and no, that sort of thing no. that you do, right? No, we have a we do fresh five fresh panini every day, and we try to have a nice Ooh, salad. Panini. So something that's really fresh um, yeah. for summertime, something we would eat a lot in Rome this time of year. It's just a caparese salad. Mm -hmm. And um, so what we do is we just again, you've got to get some really great fresh tomatoes. Right. And you want to just take the tomatoes with some nice mozzarella. Now in Italy, we'd use buffalo mozzarella. Right. Um, um, today we just have cow's milk or mozzarella. Buffalo mozzarella. Mozzarella. <laughs> buffalo. And all you're going to do is take and you're going to arrange it on a plate. Right. So it's slice by slice and you're going to pop and It's so some basil light in and there. delicious that, you know, and good for you, right? Yeah, it's delicious. And by the way, yeah. when it comes to sorbets and gelatos, that's not such the bad stuff either, is it? It is all natural. We do everything on site from scratch every day. Right. Just drizzle some next to some extra virgin olive oil down mm -hmm. there. And that's then the a good little stuff bit of right salt. There, eh? Alessandro, that's good. Yeah. Now, a little bit of salt. That's traditional. I really love it. And Alessandro will eat it in the traditional way, but I love to put a little balsamic vinegar. On the side? On the side, and then I just dip it. So dig in there. Okay. I'll go right down the middle here. <laughs> right where the big ones are. This, and what kind of uh, mozzarella is this? This is just cow mozzarella. Okay. Really nice if you can do it with buffalo mozzarella. If you can get it, yeah. That's the taste of summer. That's what summer is all so about. Good. Yeah, fresh, oh. simple, fast. You know, that's great. In, in the evening, that's typically what we might have for dinner. We might forego. Is that right? Yeah. And is this a, a traditional sort of meal in Italy absolutely that you would have? In the, sum, absolutely in the summertime? In the summertime? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So good. Yeah, that's nice. Man, I could eat that every day. Yeah. See, that's the thing. And another great treat, yeah. uh, summertime, especially for the kids. Um, you know, mid afternoon snack. Just huh. take a bunch of frozen berries. Right. And pop in your frozen berries. Right. Um, All different kinds. Yep, any kind you of You can even get these like. in the winter at the grocery store. Oh, for store. sure. Yeah. And then a banana to add sweetness. Right. And then you're just going to top it up with some orange juice or apple juice. Yep. Pop it in there. Mm -hmm. And pop it in the blender. Now you'll notice I didn't add any sugar and I didn't add any water or any ice. And that's no. the way we do it at the shop. How come no ice? Freeze your fruit. Once your fruit is frozen, there's no need to add any okay. ice. Then it doesn't dilute it. Okay. Put and that just in like the that, you got a smoothie. Yep, you've got and a smoothie. And the kids, the kids will look at it and go, "Wow, what a treat!" When you know it's super healthy. Super healthy, just right. fruit. There. So there is no sugar Try added. That. Look at that; it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's full of fruit. There's no added sugar, and it's fresh. And the consistency is beautiful. And on a hot day, there's it's like a milkshake. Better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it is a treat. It is a treat. There's no question about that. Yeah. Tell me about. Um, and I know your wife has taken this gelato business very seriously. Very seriously. Right? Absolutely. You actually have gone back to Italy and yes. studied with the masters. Yeah, I went back no, to Northern no Italy. No kidding. And I trained with some of Italy's finest gelato masters. And mm -hmm. I did the old uh, artisan way of doing things, which is very, there are very few people even in Italy doing what we do. Um, and that's from scratch. So we don't use any powdered mixes. or Everything is made from scratch. Our bases are all uh, made from scratch. I'm using a chocolate recipe that has been around uh, for centuries. And so we've got 21st century equipment with these beautiful century old recipes. Right. And it really, you can taste the difference. Yeah. Um, even your, your children are in Italy right now. They're in Rome and right now with Alessandro's with, family. With your folks, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, they have been telling you that your stuff is even better than yeah, some of the places. They're going out. You've got to, I mean, there's some spots in Rome that are just the ultimate. But for the most part, even in Italy, people are referring back to prepackaged mixes and bases. And, you know, it's less expensive. It's less Quicker. time consuming. You yeah. don't need the training that I have. Um, and so that's what the norm is doing. But when you find a good artisan producer, it's unparalleled. You're getting a real taste of home at this time. Yes. yes. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, congratulations on, you. on your new business and what you've Thank done you. so far. And I know it'll only uh, grow as more and more people uh, discover this uh, wonderful Thank place. Thank you. Uh, it's called Stella Luna, right on uh, Bank at, at Sunnyside? Bank near Sunnyside, 1103. Oh, see? It's a perfect part of town. Oh, oh, that's lemon? That's lemon sorbet. So if you just pop a scoop of lemon right on top of those berries, right, you, you would do that? Dessert. I'm yeah. just doing it on its own because yeah. I'm a big lemon ear. Okay. It's freshly squeezed lemon. Freshly squeezed lemon in the sorbet. Squeeze it in my own muscle. <laughs> Beautiful. Stella Luna, Gelato Cafe, check it out. Thanks, you guys, for coming. Thanks.